welcome back. In this video, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to teach you how to uh, properly cut the tip of a uh, of a uh, tube of caulk. And you definitely want to do this the right way. If you do it wrong, if you may, if you cut it on the wrong angle, or if you cut it too deep so that the spout is too wide, it's going to make life so so much harder on you when you go to caulk. So the best thing is just to smart with the, start with a small hole. So you can use a uh, utility knife to cut it off on a 45, or uh, or I just use the caulk gun here. There's a blade right right there. So I'm just gonna take take this and put it on a 45 to a great angle and snip snip it off, and that's what it looks like there. Okay, I, and you can see it's not too big. Now there's a, a prong that comes out of here. Okay, now I'm gonna stick this in the hole here. Okay. So that's going to create a hole right there. Now, the edge of this is rough, okay? So what I like to do is just use a piece of uh, sandpaper here, and this is a uh, 60 grit, and just sand that down so that when you go to caulk, when you go to apply the edge of this in, in, in into the corner, it's not gonna tear away in any paint Okay, and it's going to conform nice into the corners because the uh, corners now are rounded off. So you don't want it to a point. If it's to a point, then it's going to gouge into the ceiling or whatnot. Okay, and this is the uh, big stretch cock. This is great for trim, for crown molding. This stuff, it has the ability um, to, to stretch like eight times its uh, width without cracking here. Uh, and this is white. So again, this is the ideal caulk to use uh, for crown mold molding, where it's attached to the ceiling and the walls. If you use the yeah, cheap stuff like the DAP, it'll look nice for like a week or two, but it's it, it's so thin that it just, it cracks. But uh, so this stuff is great for uh, trim work. So we're just gonna put this in here and start to squeeze the gun until it starts to come through and it starts to come through. And I just put the remnants right there, okay? And I pull it into the corner there. There's a 90 degree angle where it comes out. And I just do that with my finger and it builds up there. So that's the best place to, to put to the remnants of the caulk so that you don't make a mess. And whenever you caulk, you don't want to make a mess and you don't want to apply too much in the first place because then you have to take it away. Then it gets all over the ceiling or all over the walls. Then it starts to pull up here. Uh, so these are just some quick tips on how to prepare a yeah, new tube of caulk so that you can caulk efficiently and not make a mess and use as little as possible. Because again, if you cut the hole too big, a lot more is gonna come out. You're gonna waste a lot more of the caulk. So always cut the tip small, okay? And that'll save you a lot of, uh, of uh, material and waste. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on, on the next one.